आप सुन रहे हैं करण डिवोशनल आध्यात्म से जुड़े Good evening. Thank you for coming. Thank you, ICCR. Thank you, India. Great India. Thank you, my friend, our Honorary Council of Cabo Verde in India. My good friend, Sanjay Devine. You know, Cape Verde is a very, very, very small country. 4,033 kilometers square. See, I think Taj Mahal is bigger. <laughs> and we are 500,000 persons. Sometimes we are in traffic, driving, and the police say, stop, stop. You say, oh, my God, I say, stop. Like, oh, it's you, my Lord, stop, stop. <laughs> and everybody knows everybody. So you go to the beach, the council is here too. You see the president of the Republic, the prime minister, everybody in the same day, same time, the president of the parliament playing football on the beach. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> Peaceful country, humble country. <laughs> and why our music is like this? Or our democracy is like that, or our harmony as human beings are like it is. Because till 15th century, there was nobody in Cape Verde. No culture, no person. Only the mountains and the sea and the sun, some birds and the moon. And in 1460, the Portuguese arrived in Cape Verde, and in 66 they brought African slaves to populate for the first time Cabo Verde. So we, Cape Verdeans, were the, this third product of the meeting of cultures and people. In the same way, we are black as we are white. There is no way to separate them. And some way our music is from Europe and from Africa. And somewhere our language, Creole, is a mix of Portuguese, Spanish, French, and others with different African languages. When we accept that, there is no more separation. We have to make synthesis. And I think the world has to see the government. And that's why we are peaceful and our democracy is good because there is no way to exclude nobody. Or you accept and you learn to life what life gives to you. Or you try all the times for another thing that you'll never find. And you'll be in conflict with yourself and with the other all the time. So our music is so percussion, guitar, violin, piano, and uh, so on. And we feel free and happy because we can put everything we are together and share with others. <laughs> This year, 2019, is Mahatma Gandhi's uh, 150 anniversary. <laughs> 
Gandhi used to sing every single morning. Uh, Narsi Mehta, 15th century poem. This poem is called Vaishnava Janato Te Kahayiji. It's written in old Gujarati in honor of Mahatma Gandhi. I'm gonna sing this song tonight in old Gujarati. In English, this song means a good man or a good human being is one who feels the pain of others. One who helps those in misery and does not let pride enter his or her mind. And finally, a good human being is who has no greed and deceit, who has renounced all types of desires and hunger. <laughs> Karta. 
kule kote tahari nare. Vasna vajana kau eni kahi je pir parai jane. So, on the 150th anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, you sang and your troupe gave a great performance, most of the, one of the most admired song of Mahatma Gandhi. It was mesmerizing. Yes, um, it's a rare opportunity for me because it's a beautiful poem. It's a very nice melody. And uh, Gandhi is not from this world. He came to do something and he did it very well. So he's an example for all of us. And when I'm in India, I can sing in Gujarati, a very nice poem, a poem Gandhi used for praying every morning. Me also, today I was in contact with the transcendental, with the other world where Gandhi belong. In transcended into your a spiritual world altogether, and the great performance by your team. Yes, you've, uh, this song is, if I could everywhere in the world open my concert with this music, I should do that. Uh, because it um, transports everybody, the audience and, and the team, the musicians on stage, goes to where music comes from. And once we are there, all the best will come for us and for the audience. It's very, very, very special moment. So you have very less number of accompanying artists. Is it because you have mastered almost a dozen of instruments your own self? Uh, no, I, I'm, you know, I am um, a vehicle. I am here. I try to be in contemplation and meditation and to download what is in the cosmos that can come through me and I share it with others. Um, I'm not able to do now what I do on the stage. I'm, I'm not a virtuous instrumentalist uh, or music player. I am not uh, one of the best singers of my country or in the world, no. But on stage, I am uh, the music. I am what comes in the moment. I don't rehearse the things I do there. So. That is why you have hundreds and hundreds of fans in India. And yeah. they will be very delighted once we broadcast this program. Yeah. They'll be very delighted because we all know K. Verde is very, very rich in music. Yes. And African music is what the world is admiring now. Wow. Uh, we are Africans, we admire very much Indian music. Everybody in the world admires Indian music because it's the most complex music system in the world. And I don't know how they did it. It's the most the simple. It means as if the simple were better than the perfect. So we try to be perfect. Indian music pass the perfect to be very simple. It's why we admire. African music is also complex, but it's not for us, it's for the spirit. So when you use the, we use the music is to be in connection with other world. So it becomes easy and simple at the same time also. And India is very special because where, everywhere I played, people were so surprised and it uh, motivated me 
and uh, tell me that I'm on, on the right way. And one must say, you have brought three continents together, Europe, Africa, and Indo-Asia. America, because Priscilla is from Brazil, today we, humankind, we are on, on the same place, suddenly. Would you like to introduce your team? Is it possible that we can from up from your team? Yes. Um, on the percussion, I have an old friend, uh, somebody very transcendent also, called Daniel. Daniel is a very special human being because he suffers too much with the common things. He has no house, has no money, has no family. He's really a good man, um, uh, untouched and detached, you know. Uh, it's a pleasure to play with him because it's not just a way to tap something, to beat something. It's a way to, to be in the right moment with the right things. Uh, Sori Araujo on the guitar is a young musician, but I brought because uh, he understands the language I use and uh, he does the right thing to make our music one thing, one round thing that you can offer to somebody. Discreet, virtuous, but not this kind of virtuous that want to show up. He's there to be, I have to study more and more to be able to put the right things Mario Luce wants in his music to give to the people. That's our language. And uh, I invite from Brazil a singer that um, I produce her album. So I'm giving her also the opportunity to uh, understand better African music, Cape Verdean music, because that's why I produce her album. Because she was looking for something that could be a synthesis of Africa, Europe, and America, because Brazil also has this story. So this is my small team with my tour manager, very special person also. I prefer all the time good person instead of good musicians. First of all, good person. <laughs> And I must say, we all know music transcends all languages, and it is the binding force. You are, have been, you have been the cultural minister of your country. That must be added bonus for all of us. 
Yes. Um, and for your country. Yeah, they told me that. I'm very happy and grateful for the opportunity my country gave to me to administrate one part of its existence and to share what I feel and the, the, the bless I receive. We did a lot of good things, Polit politics. Um, to be in politics is, is just um, if you are if you are military and you are uh, guarding something, you have your time. But later on, you have to go to rest, and another soldier will come. So that's why uh, how I accept life that everything is transitory. So and I did what I could. It was a very a good experience in a, such a cultural country and musical country as Cape Verde is. And now I'm sharing this experience also with the world, what we did, what is important, how culture can be very important to harmonize and to, to create a real idea of a nation, not to defend the frontier, not to defend the, the minerals, not to defend the idea of a nation, but to, to I, I say, to develop an idea of community. So, and there is important to know very well uh, ourselves and try to know the other, to understand the other. And two persons, one who knows very well who he is and is trying to understand better what the other is, they are in harmony and that's a good way. I can summarize it by saying you talk about universal brotherhood and your music is just an extension of you. That's what I, I do. I, I have the conscience that, uh, not only the conscience, but also the incapacity to do other things, that, different things. That's what I want to do, that's what I'm able to do. <laughs>
You are listening to Taran Devotional Online Radio. 